Charles Day is accused of misdemeanor resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. His court date is in August. Day says he's pleading not guilty and that the proof is in the video. Justice is not being served. You go over there and you go get in, in between this. OK, you're going to be arrested, too. OK, and that's Charles Day talking to a Salas officer on June 7th. Initially, police were called to a local apartment complex for reports of a man with a gun. When Day got there, he says it was his teenage daughter who was detained. Get, my, get the cuffs off my daughter. Shut up. No. My daughter has issues. You want to go? Do you want to go? Shut up or you will all go. Now you listen. I was trying to talk Get out of my face, Billy. I'm not in your back. My arm was stuck in the window behind me like this. And I was yelling. I'm going down, but my arm's stuck in the window, Billy. According to the police report, one officer wrote that Day came up to Lieutenant Oliver and began screaming at him and shoved the lieutenant. The report says the lieutenant told Day to put his hands behind his back, that he refused, and that the officers, quote, had to assist Day to the ground. I was innocent the whole way. I did nothing wrong besides try to find out why they had my daughter in handcuffs. They took me down so hard. It tore through my jeans and busted my kneecap open. On Tuesday, the police lieutenant was placed on paid leave pending the outcome of an internal investigation as to what happened. The chief says the department does not train officers to use chokeholds. The chief says they're also looking at possible discrepancies in the police report and why two officers did not have their body cameras on. The chief says according to policy, officers should activate their body cameras anytime they interact with the public while on a call. This video is from another agency who showed up to assist that night. The chief says he'll decide what to do next once the internal investigation investigation is complete and there's no word when that will be. How much more obvious can it get? You got the video with the sound and the footage. Your officers were in the wrong. The Sequoia County District Attorney says that he's aware of the ongoing investigation and that he's interested to see the results. Live in Salisop, Brett Rains, 4029 News.